We're just going to ignore the fact that I wore hat and sweats in the last video. What's up guys, Hilly D here, and today's video is going to be a more serious video. A few of you have asked for a more serious video, and that's really great because I've been wanting to do one. In this video, I'm going to be talking about confidence, and knowing your self-worth, and what kind of things happen, and how to deal with it, and all that good stuff. And quite honestly, I've just been really, really thinking about talking about this for weeks now. And I've just been like, why am I thinking about this so much? And I honestly truly believe that that's because God is telling me that I need to make this video because one of you guys out there needs it. So here I am making this video because when God calls you to do something, you do it. So yeah, I'm excited to be making this video and let's go. Now I know a lot of people like in high school and junior high have a lot, a lot, a lot of confidence issues. I have many confidence issues, so it's me too. So don't think like, oh my gosh, it's just me who has these issues, because no, all of us struggle with confidence issues in one way or another. One of the main reasons for why we don't have much confidence in ourselves is because we care way too much about what everyone else thinks. And it's awful. Like, I can't say this, or I can't go do this, or I can't be myself, because someone might think that I'm weird, or I'm crazy, or I'm boring, or what? Ever. And that's kind of scary because like so many people feel like they can't be themselves because they're so scared that someone is going to judge them. And you know, you gotta think about it like, no matter what you do, you are gonna be judged. Someone is going to have a problem with you if you are the most perfect person in the whole world. But that's just how it is. We've all felt this way and we've all done it. It's a natural human thing that we do. And it's awful, but it happens. And I know this is way, way easier said than done, but you can't worry about what all these people think. Like I said, people are gonna think whatever they want about you and you can't do anything about it so don't let it get to you dye your hair crazy colors because that's what you like if sally thinks it's weird it don't matter because you're being yourself if you are wearing a crazy out there kind of outfit and you love it but becky over here doesn't like it at all and she hates it guess what listen to this it don't matter because you're being yourself and you're being awesome and you know the biggest thing that's helped me is it doesn't matter what everyone in this world thinks it only matters what god thinks like you gotta think about it like okay if i do this what is god gonna think if you're being yourself god is gonna love that god wants you to be yourself he created you and he wants you to be yourself he wants you to be the person that he created you to be he's gonna love that you are being yourself and you're not caring what all these other people think you're only caring what he thinks and that's what matters it's like i can either let the world judge me or i can let god judge me he's the best judge obviously and if you aren't a christian or you don't believe in god i'm not trying to push my religion or my faith onto you that is just how i deal with this and that's what has helped me that is what i believe you do not have to believe that i'm not forcing you to at all i think another thing with confidence is a lot of times we don't think we're good enough sometimes we just don't like ourselves most people have been through that where they just have this stage in their life where they're just like wow i just really don't like myself or maybe it's not like yourself it's just like one specific thing about you like whatever you don't like about yourself you just don't like it you know mostly talking about appearances right now but just sometimes we just don't like the way we look and we can't change that now i know there are surgeries and all these different things that you can do now to change the way you look again not gonna push my religion not do you <laughs> this is just something that is part of what i believe and my religion is going to be a part of this channel i personally don't believe that it's right go have a surgery or something like that to go change yourself change like an appearance or something I don't believe that's right to do because God created you. God created you to look the way you look because to him, that was perfect. And so I feel like to go change yourself is just a way of telling him that he made a mistake. God does not make mistakes ever. It never happened, nor will it ever happen. We all just need to learn to accept ourselves for who we are and what we look like because again it only matters what god thinks and god created you that is just so cool so i'm pretty sure i had talked about everything that i wanted to talk about if there is something that i missed and you still 
want to talk about it or you need someone to talk to, I'm right here. You can always, always come to me. You can get me through Instagram, Twitter, however you can reach me and you need to talk to me or you feel like I could answer a question. And I'm always going to try and answer your guys' question and just help you guys out. But also, I know another great listener and a way, way better advice giver is God. Go talk to God. He will help you through it. I promise you. It might not be a direct answer, he's, but he's definitely going to help you. He doesn't want you to struggle. So if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you have another topic that you want me to talk about, comment that down below so I know what to talk about next. Please subscribe for me. All my social media links are in the description down below and I put last week's video in there as well. And I will see your beautiful faces very soon. So... That was awesome! <laughs> <Okay>. <coughs> In this video, I'm gonna talk because you're a pretty cool person, place, or thing. Now, just be a sub girl or a boy or.